Hi, we're going to do a how to clean an AOD governor. We're going to start out with 13 millimeter. We're going to remove the extension housing bolt. There'll be six total. We'll go ahead and remove the extension housing, set it aside. Take the unit out of the park so you can spin this around so you can see. We'll then use a Phillips to remove two bolts on the output shaft here for the governor. It shouldn't be too tight, just hand snug. Okay, so we'll take the two screws out to remove the governor. Tip it over slightly and slowly. Make sure you don't lose anything because some things might just fall out on you. You should have a screen inside the governor. Set it down on a rag. And then start slowly just pulling the stuff out if you can. Now if it's sticking, tap it on the table a little bit and pull it out. It's very important to lay everything out the way it comes out because it has to go back the same direction and the same way you took it apart. Once you get it apart, you're going to want to clean it up. Bench buddies work pretty good. Just take the finished edge off of it and clean it up really nice. You can do it while it's still dirty, because you got to clean it afterwards. Switch to a, the next bench buddy size. Make sure you clean, get all the holes good. There's different steps in the hole itself. Just a little bit. You might have to repeat this process in order to achieve the governor not sticking at all. And then your next step is just going to clean every piece. You can use brake clean um, or solvent. want to do it to clean every piece. Keep in mind, keep all the pieces in the same direction as you pulled it out so you know which way it goes back together. It will not work if you put it back together the wrong way. Okay. Next we're going to start assembling it. We're just going to kind of put it back together dry, make sure it's all free still, or it is now free, I should say. And once everything just kind of falls, tip it over, everything should just fall out. And repeat this process probably a couple times just to make sure that everything is working the way it needs to work. And then you should just be able to tip it over and it should all just fall right out. Okay, for reinstalling or reassembling the governor, we're going to take our newly cleaned part. Apply a little ATF to it. A little lubricant. Make sure you're putting it back in the exact way it came out. It should be good. Give it a little shake just to make sure. 
put the screen back in, and then you're ready to reassemble the governor on your transmission. Now for reinstalling the governor, we're just gonna bring it over here, make sure you're putting it on the same way you took it off. It does have feed holes and it's gotta go the right direction, otherwise it will not work. Take your two hold down bolts, start them by hand, and then run them down. You don't want these too tight, but you don't want them too loose. Just hand tighten them. And it should be good to go. The cover is facing the transmission the same way we took it off. And then you're ready to reattach your extension housing. Make sure the gasket's still good. If it's not, then replace it at this time. Slide the housing back onto the transmission. And then start your bolts by hand. Don't drop any of the bolts. Snug the bolts down. And then we're ready to torque it down. Set your torque wrench to 18 foot pounds. Yeah. This will ensure no leakage and that it's properly installed the right way. And you can run back over them and make sure that they are nice and snug. And then that's how you clean out an AOD governor.